Hi, uh, in this video, I would like to go through the process of setting up my Java SVG converter app. Uh, so to do that, you can uh, go to the following link, which is uh, github.com slash snow3442 slash professional. And then what you will see is a folder here. And then also uh, this button uh, that tells you to uh, clone or download. So I'm going to quickly uh, clone this to my uh, desktop <clears throat> just for illustration purposes uh, so so what i did is i quickly created a, a folder uh, called project on my uh, desktop uh, and then uh, what i'm going to do is basically go into that project uh, and basically uh, clone the repository. So uh, just paste my link, type git clone, uh, and then uh, the direct uh, the repository name, and then uh, and then very quickly we have the entire project inside uh, the desktop. So that's a very simple process. Uh, if you don't like that, you can also uh, download as a zip folder, and then you unzip to your desktop. So there are two uh, equivalent processes. Uh, so we're done with that. And then now what we need to do is to open up uh, the IntelliJ uh, IDE. Uh, and what we need to do is uh, click here, open or import. <clears throat> and then go to the location where our uh, where our um, project is stored, uh, it's it's in desktop, and then we go to project, we go to professional. Uh, these are all like wrapper folders, uh, but really the root directory for the project is the SVG converter. So we open that up, and then after we open the project up, there are two very important configuration steps that we need to do inside our IntelliJ. So I will uh, go through those with you. So IntelliJ now is doing some uh, background process to load our project. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Now, as we can see, there is an error message. So we need to fix that immediately. Uh, so go to File, Settings. and build execution and deployment, build tools, and then we go to Gradle. So this project is built with Gradle, and then make sure here you choose your JVM as 11. So make sure you have downloaded uh, JDK 11, uh, and, uh, and it, it, should come, it should come with JVM 11. So make sure you have, uh, you have this set as 11. Uh, because this project was built with 11. Uh, so if you don't have it, you can download it basically. So we're going to apply and we click on OK. And we go to Gradle and we click on the refresh. We can close the README. Uh, so that will uh, fix our, that should fix our bug. Uh, the reason for that bug was uh, most. Most IDE have, have the default JVM set as 1.8, but there's some more advanced stuff, right? So 1.8, it was a long time ago. Now Java has uh, more advanced versions. Uh, I think we are we have 11, uh, sorry, we have 13 or even 14 at this time. Um, so, so the newest version does not recognize some of the old stuff, basically. So now we have the build successful, we can go to Gradle. So you, you have this very small button, Gradle, uh, on the right side. Uh, you will click open and then SVG Converter App, Tasks, Application, and then double click on Run. And JV, uh, sorry, and IntelliJ will run this application uh, for you. So those are pretty much the configuration steps. 
uh, it could be a problem uh, if you don't do these steps. Um, so now our app is open. Uh, it's Java SVG Converter app. So let me illustrate you how you can use that. So we're going to choose file and then we can uh, put any image we want in it. So I have a few uh, test image. So I'm going to test out with this chicken image uh, and then I can simply just say convert. And now I need to enter the number of colors uh, that I believe this chicken can have maximum. So basically, if you think this chicken cannot have more than 10 colors, uh, you will put 10 colors. So whatever number that contains the total number of colors that this image has. So there's some red, there's some like black, and then uh, there's yellow, uh, different types of yellow, but I estimate it's not going to exceed 10. So I'm going to put 10 here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cluster and my software uh, quickly detects that. Yeah, so there's red, red, and then there's the black, there's the red, uh, there's the yellow, uh, and then there's a bunch more. So uh, the reason you only have seven colors here uh, is because um, it's because the software uh, only found the seven colors that it can cl cluster. Uh, so this is actually not a bug. This is a functionality that I wanted. Uh, we don't want redundant uh, duplicate colors in our clustering. So we found seven distinct colors in our uh, clustering uh, algorithm. So once we have this color, we can go ahead and convert to SVG. Um, and now, as we can see, all seven colors are um, basically here. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, we can tune the parameters. Uh, you can play around with these things. Uh, basically, uh, suppress speckles, uh, there's smooth corners, and then optimize paths, right? This is what the industry needs uh, for the, the basically the image uh, tuning and stuff. So. Suppressed speckles basically says you can get rid of all the, the dots, right? Uh, and smooth corners and optimize paths. So you can play around with those uh, with those things. Uh, it will automatically save your setting. And then once you're happy with your settings, right? Once you're happy with all the tuning, you can go ahead and save as a SVG file. So we will once again save it on our desktop and we'll say uh, this one is the chicken. Uh, you don't need to type the .svg, you just need to type the name and then you save it automatically saves as a SVG file. So if I go to my desktop, I now have the chicken.svg, right? I previously did not have that. So uh, I'm gonna open uh, the SVG and then we can see uh, the SVG is uh, rendered um, pretty well here. So it's the SVG, um, the SVG file. So that's the basic functionality, the very basic, but there's more, the more things you can do. Uh, now let's say I want a different image. I don't want this chicken. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use a butterfly, let's say, and then uh, we'll convert again. And this time I'm gonna do 30 because the butterfly is very, very colorful. Uh, and uh, I am just gonna cluster. And now the software actually gives me uh, about 30, 30 colors. Um, so, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check on these check boxes on some of the colors, right? And what it does is it suppresses uh, the colors you have clicked on, right? So remember, you, it suppresses the colors. So it gets rid of the colors that you clicked on. Um, and the remaining colors, they will be actually in your preview. So if you do the preview, sometimes you have to make, yeah. So I click on preview uh, and uh, make sure you actually clicked on it. I probably did not click on it. Um, so this process is actually multi-threaded in my in my program, so it should run fairly fast. And now, as we can see, a lot of the colors are suppressed, uh, and uh, and I think the software detects 
detect colors very very well and then we can still see the butterfly and then what we do is once we're happy with this image we're gonna click on uh, we're gonna click on uh, convert to SVG uh, and then once again we have all these things we can play around uh, with right we can suppress speckles whatever you want to do once you're happy uh, save as a SVG file uh, once again uh, we will uh, go to our desktop and then we'll just say butterfly uh, here and then uh, we will have the butterfly which previously did not exist uh, and uh, and now we can just say open and now as we can uh, see that the butterfly is rendered as a SVG file and then it matches exactly what we have in our preview so uh, not only my software allows you to uh, convert things convert images to SVGs but also allows you to play around with colors allows you to drop the colors you don't want and keep the ones you do uh, so very very uh, neat software that is uh, ready to use for commercial uh, purposes for uh, production uh, I think I have tested on many images so um, the rendering uh, has uh, has been decent uh, and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty much a uh, a minimal product that's ready to go uh, and uh, it's developed uh, mainly in uh, Swing and JavaFX and then uh, Java and then obviously a, a little bit more uh, a few more uh, external libraries that you can uh, find more information on uh, in my uh, readme uh, file so uh, for now thank you very much for watching uh, and I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy the video